Hey everyone, it's Davacab here. And as you may have noticed, the Rio Summer Games event has launched with some cool new skins, which you can see right here. Well, at least two cool skins and one <laughs> questionable skin. Anyways, I have I purchased um, 100 loot boxes plus the one that I get default just by logging in, and I'm going to unbox them for you. And hopefully, we will get cool stuff like an awesome American McCree skin, ideally. Oh, I like the fireworks, but um. Not a chance. I well, I guess I'll take this Reaper pose. Not really what I wanted, but okay. So I am a little bit disappointed with Blizzard's new. What is in the refrigerator. I'm guessing that's a reference to something. I have no idea what that means. Maybe if you know what that means, let me know in the comments. My only guess, and this is just a, a flat guess, is a. Uh, has something to do with the Indiana Jones movie? The the bad one where they get into the refrigerator in the end? I don't fucking know. We got a new thing. Oh, that's actually pretty slick. Anyways, I'm a little bit disappointed that they don't let you buy stuff. They, they let you buy the coins. Or, buy it with coins. Nice. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I'm not a big fan of Zarya to begin with. But... I feel like the normal Zarya skin looks like, you know, a tomboyish female, as it's as it should be, right? She's a bodybuilder, I get it. But this skin, it kind of looks like a guy cross-dressing as a woman. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't do it for me. It looks, it looks awesome. I feel like the hair, the hair feels kind of tacked on, like it doesn't belong with her. So it's like this, like, big beefy guy wearing a blonde wig to me. So... I think this this might actually be the worst skin in the game. That or the other color one. I mean, you know what difference does it make? They're basically the same thing. Anyways, oh nice. Oh, just one this morning. <laughs> okay. Uh, so as I was saying, it's I, I can understand why Blizzard wouldn't make it so that you could like. All right, let's let's check this real quick. Oh, I like it. It's fitting. I can understand why Blizzard wouldn't allow you to just hoard coins for the next expansion because that would basically encourage people to not spend money on the new loot boxes. Wow, this is a high rate. Nice. Fucking nice. I like to play some. Wait, does she does she have that? Oh, I get it. This is in place of the little blue the little blue trail she leaves behind. She leaves a cape behind, I wonder. Anyway, so Blizzard needs money in order to continue the game. So they've got to monetize these releases. It's just sort of a necessity. I like both these, actually. So for that reason, if they allow you to sort of build up coins and... <laughs> this fucking spray is so good. If they allow you to like build up coins for the next expansion, then whenever the next expansion comes out, people just buy the one or two skins that they want. You want a medal? Oh, that's good. And then they're not really going to participate in buying stuff. So it makes sense from a business standpoint. It's just sort of like a necessary uh, business decision that will allow them to pay all their coders and artists to make cool new stuff. Oh, I like this one. However, I think their implementation is a little bit off. Oh, hold on. What is this? Not quite what I was looking for. But I will take this as much as I don't play Widowmaker. I think their implementation is a little bit off. What they should have done is take one of one of two routes. The first option, um, and probably the the route that I think Blizzard would be less likely to do, is to oh that looks really good. That looks so cool. Would be to give a completely separate loot box that only does. Uh, Rio, Rio um, skins or Rio drops or whatever. However, I don't think they would do this because it would sort of just basically Overcome all obstacles. it wouldn't really solve the problem. The, the basic problem is that you're sort of a slave to RNG. You have to just like I want the McCree skin. That's that's just what I want. So the only option is to just. Open a loot box, and then open a loot box, and then open a loot box. So if you just don't get it, you just don't get it, and you have no control out of it. But the cool thing about 
Oh, nice. Uh, I, I will take it. It's not bad. Silicow? Silic Silicow? Anyone know what that means? Let me know in the comments, please. I'm guessing it means goalie. Does that look like a goalie to you? I don't know. Striker, maybe? I don't know Portuguese or Brazilian or whatever it is they speak, so... Oh, sweet. Anyways, so if you switch it to Rio-only loot boxes, then it just moves the problem from you're hoping on normal boxes versus you're hoping on real boxes to get the one that you want. Granted, it would be a higher chance. Excuse me. It'd be a higher chance, but, you know, you're still just rolling the dice at the end of the day. And what if... Oh, fucking sweet. Now I can be a true American. <laughs> Look at how cheesy this is. It's awesome. He's even got the flannel shirts. God, he's like a walking stereotype. Anyways, so what I mean is, it would the thing that I've liked about about the the loot system is that it's very easy to get what you want. The prices aren't too high. You get loot boxes fairly quickly. So ultimately, what ends up happening is you just open a couple loot boxes, you get some money, and then you just buy the you just buy the one that you want. Problem solved. But when you make everything just sort of random, then like you could literally open <laughs> this is that's really cool. <laughs> you could literally open a thousand loot boxes and not get the one skin that you want. Wow, I think they increased the legendary chance on this. I've been getting a shitload of legendaries. Be champion. Oh, that's pretty good actually. I feel like that really fits his personality. So the the money system, the the duplicates uh, that, that's a good solution that they used in the previous ones. But with this, you know, understandably, they can't make it so that you can... Alright, Zarya. No pain, no gain. Don't really care. Anyways, they can't make it so that you can buy whatever you want with old coins. So I think the elegant solution, what they should have done, was make it so that when you unbox stuff with... <laughs> That's pretty good. When you unbox stuff with real boxes, then any duplicates you get, or any duplicates you get from the, uh, any duplicates you get from like, if this is a duplicate, then you get instead of this currency, this gold currency, you get like real bucks, or, um, I mean, I don't know what currency they use. I was hoping for a challenge. That's not bad, but Mata Mata is still the best voice line in the game, so. I'm going to keep it in my mind. Anyways, they should have, you know, whatever the currency is in Rio, that should be the currency that you get for uh, getting a duplicate from the Rio set. Or it could be, you know, they could flavor it as metals. You could say that instead of getting plus five gold, you get plus five metals. And then just make it so that you can spend the metals or the Rio bucks to buy Rio specific skins. It's a very easy, elegant solution. That way, Blizzard can still reliably monetize this new expansion. Oh, look at this box, man. That's cool. That's cool looking. It's so fast. It's a little bit like jarring. It looks a little bit unnatural. Interesting. This is a Symmetra, Symmetra box, apparently. Anyways, it, it just... Wow, they really upped the legendary chance. It would be... Oh, that's a pretty good spray. It would be nice to have some degree of control over this. I mean, I get it, this is a random system. So... <laughs> yes, please. This is a random system, so it's just inherently random to some degree. That's, that's fine, that's understandable. But, like, if you just want that one legendary skin, I want to be able to have some degree of control over it and get the... God. I, I now have the two worst skins in the game. <laughs> That's disappointing. I'm uh, not sure which ones I'm missing. from the, Which legendary skins I'm missing. Um, <laughs> There's more, eh, not, that, not that good. I don't understand what that has to do with the Olympics. So, you know, I'm hoping that Blizzard will do something like that. Something along the lines of 
you know, just giving players a little bit more freedom to pursue what they want to pursue without being so um, enslaved by RNG. And I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit of um, frame rate lag. I don't know if you, frame rate lag. I don't know if you can notice. My guess has something to do with the DDoS attacks that have been going on today. Hopefully, I don't get booted. I tried to wait until a slightly calm spot where I could get on and do this, but it's possible I might get kicked. I'll have to continue this later. So, let me know. She looks like a child in this. She looks like she's 12. Huh. I think the art on that one is a little bit off. So, let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, obviously, we, this is so good. I love these new Roadhog ones. Uh, we, we've got we've to gotta strike some line between being fair to the players versus letting Blizzard actually make money off, off of this. Because at the end of the day, this is a business, right? If they're not, if they're not making money, then Overwatch will go away. That's just the simple fact of the matter. So they need to make money. So where do you draw the line between requiring players to spend money versus encouraging players to spend money versus letting players get away with not spending any money at all and relying on big spenders. Nice, I'll take that. Though I've got the um Actually I don't know I don't know what Anna's gonna have. I like this Batman skin Batman spray, that's pretty good. So let me know in the comments what you think the like where you draw the line in the sand, what is appropriate, what is inappropriate. Because I think that they're close. I think Blizzard is, is pretty close to hitting the stride. But I think with this, they're just a little bit too unforgiving. This is pretty cool, actually. They need to, you know, give players a little bit more flexibility just to get that one or two skins that they need. We are in this together. Not a big fan of this May skin. I like the, um, the Yeti Hunter one more. So, yeah, I'm... I'm hoping they learn from their mistakes. I saw that on the forums, people are, I mean, on the Reddit, people were complaining about it a lot. But, like, if you use my system, if you use the, is that the other one? Nope, that's the duplicate. That's a shame. If you use my system, then that still requires players to get a high number of these boxes, right? It still, you know, encourages them to invest, spend a little bit of money, give Overwatch some income, but it doesn't absolutely require them. I think I like the green one more. It doesn't absolutely require them. Wait, if he's a striker, why does he have gloves? Does anyone, is anyone a big fan of soccer? Are these, are these goalie gloves or do normal like strikers wear these gloves? That's a little bit strange. I don't know. I don't, I don't really watch soccer or I guess football, I should say in this case, since this is in Rio. Oh, that makes sense because she's Chinese. I get it. Wait, have the other sports been related to the country? I wonder. I haven't really been paying attention. I just sort of first noticed it. But uh, you know, I think I'm I think I'm missing like one or two legendary skins now from the set. <laughs> I won. What the? Oh, she looks at her thing as if like to say, "Look, can you believe it?" Wait, did she? Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's kind of cute. I like it. You know, I'd, I'd like to... The completionist in me would like to get everything. I mean, I'm, I've got a YouTube channel. There's a good chance that I'm going to do this for a long time. And I would like to have the option to eventually get everything in the game. Am I going to unlock everything? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But to just, like, have this thing come and then be... Totally, wow, there are so many legendaries. Jeez. I think I've got like three or four of these, and I'm missing the other one. To be totally just enslaved to RNG kind of sucks. I, I'd like to get everything from this, but like if I'm missing just one player portrait, I mean, what am I going to do? Buy 50 more loot boxes in order to get one player portrait? That, that's kind of that's kind of bullshit, Blizzard. You got a great game. The new content's cool. I'm all for it, but... Come on, give us, give us a little bit more flexibility on this. Get another legendary. Jeez, I kind of want to like go back and count. Um, I did, a, I did another unboxing video, and I want to go back and count how many legendary skins I got. 
Because I definitely feel like I'm getting more this time around. Because I'm getting a friggin' boatload. I don't much like losing. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, so, overall, I think these these new skins are pretty cool. I, I like the sort of uh, topical approach that Blizzard is taking to this. I assume that they would do more of like the Hearthstone uh, style, where they would have uh, themed expansions based around based around like um, in-game lore. Like for example, they would have a a talent expansion. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Well, wow, that's really good. I think that, like, you know, Talon, where everything's, like, dark and evil, and everyone has, like, a trench coat skin, and they're all super edgy. Oh, they'd have another theme that's all about, like, Omnix, and people would have... Oh, I'm not a big fan of this. People would have, um, like, ro more robotic skins, where they've got body parts replaced with machinery. Kind of like Farrah's Mecha Queen skin. You know... That that was my assumption. That was how I assumed that they were gonna approach things. So they would they would have the Omnic patch and there'd be all these Omnic skins and Omnic sprays and and then they would release like two new Omnic heroes and you know, that, that sort of made sense to me. But if this is any indication, then we might be seeing more like it's kinda neat. It's really disappointing to get, you know, old school legendaries with these boxes. So, if this is any indication, if this Rio uh, expansion is any indication, that probably means that we're going to get, like, an Olympics expansion, and then a Halloween expansion, and then a Christmas expansion, or a New Year. Then next Christmas, they'll do, like, a Chinese New Year thing. And I'm not... 100% German power! It's not bad. What's mine is mine. Fitting. I'm not against that necessarily. I, I think that these sort of topical skins would be kind of cool, and I know the forums would go crazy for a um, that Mercy skin that you see uh, in the photograph, where she's like in a witch costume for Halloween. That's that's fine. It's just you know I I thought we'd see other stuff. I thought we'd see like more more theme stuff. Maybe maybe not. I guess I guess time will tell. It's certainly not exclusive. Just because they did the topical expansion first doesn't mean they're forced to do topical expansions. I think that themed expansions would be more fitting for Overwatch. It'd be more lore-focused. It's less sort of meta. Like, the problem with this, which isn't really a problem, it's just sort of a not-ideal thing, is that it takes your mind out of the game. Because when you want to play Overwatch, you're thinking about Overwatch and the lore and the characters. But when you see the Rio stuff, that pulls your thoughts outside of the game to real-world matters. And, you know, you would think that the best situation would be to make your brain as focused on Overwatch content as possible. So I'm hoping Blizzard will take my advice on this. Alright, let's take a look at what we got. A bunch of new stuff. Um, let's check the skins, though. Uh, let me see. Who gets the new skins? Uh, did I get both of them? I did get both of them. Nice. Let's do the British one. I think it's a little bit more fitting for her. And then... Let me see. Tracer's one. Zarya. I think I got both these. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm not going to use either one of them. They're both pretty bad, in my opinion. And the other one was, I think there were just three, Lucio. Striker and Selesau. Selesau. I don't know. I don't know, man. I have no idea how to pronounce that. All right. And I'm not going to look at all the sprays, but let's check out. Oh, everyone didn't get an emote. Interesting. Who, who got an emote? <laughs> Special ones are really good. Um, let me see. Oh, okay. These are just old ones. I want to see... I thought that everyone would get one. I guess what they m must have done is given everyone either a skin or an emote. Because... 
Do you have a skin in this? What do you get? Oh, do you get an intro? No. Does does Hanzo not get anything? He doesn't get an intro. Everyone gets sprays. What I... Uh, you don't get one of these? You don't get an emote? Do you get a skin? Is Hanzo just left out in the cold? Am I missing something? What? Is it voice lines? Ignore. Man, Hanzo. You get no love. Alright, well, let's just take a look at what I got then. Yeah, these are all old things, man. These are all old stuff. I don't want to see old stuff. I want to see new stuff. Come on, Blizzard. Man, disappointing. Anyways, so that's um, the 100 loot boxes. I um, hope this helps scratch that itch. I know a lot of you are probably eager to... Oh, holy crap, I got all of these. I know a lot of you are probably eager to get some of the new stuff, so... I hope you can vicariously enjoy this through me. Uh, but alright, so I will see you guys in the game. Dabacab out.